It's that time again where I get to show you everything launching on my antique store for the month. If you're new, I have an online antique store. It's called Moonlit Vintage and it launches new items. I try to do it on the new moon, but I haven't been successful yet. This last month, understandably, I was not able to get everything up on time due to everything going on with my family, but typically I like to launch new items every single new moon, but every single month for sure. It's June, which means it's time to show you all of the June listings that are launching. For June, I went with a very summery floral theme, so all of these items remind me of not only summer, but they feel like June itself. Lots of roses, because anything roses that I have right Right now is out for June because Rose is June's birth flower. Lots of summery items. If you want to check out Moonlit Vintage, I'll link the Etsy shop as well as the Instagram down below. It would mean so much if you could follow both. You can admire the Etsy shop and follow the Instagram page where I share all these items. But we're all here to see what's coming to Moonlit Vintage for the month of June, so let's get started. The first thing that I have is this little butterfly shaped trinket tray. It's got roses in the center, but I love how it's shaped like a butterfly. I think this is the most adorable, cutest little thing. I also have this little trinket box as well. It's glass and it has roses on top. There is a delicate little like gold trim on the roses and then that bow as well. No chips or cracks, excellent condition. Every single month I try to have a new set of glassware and a new set of candlesticks. So this month for candlesticks, I've got this really fun Fenton Hobnail Milk Glass candlestick set. I love milk glass. I think it works so well with any type of aesthetic or style. No chips, marks, or cracks, excellent condition. You can see better like photos of all of these things too on the Etsy. And then for glassware this month, I went with these really fun, small three ounce, almost like martini glasses or shot glasses. They're vintage Libby glassware, but I love the green stems. I love the shape. I love the quality. These are so nice if you just want like a little dessert drink or to take a fancy little shot. I don't know, they're fun, they're cute, so love these. I have this handmade, hand-painted ceramic little plate with wild flowers painted in the center, light blue on the edges, and then on the back, it has the initials RB from the artist with a little rose. I love this next piece. It's this little glass bowl with roses on the bottom. This was impossible to take photos of for the listings. I just could not capture it as well as I would have liked but it's got these beautiful roses on the bottom. Perfect for like a catch-all dish. I'm sure the uses are endless, but I just think it is so delicate and beautiful. Everything roses this month is just so cute. I have this fun set of bowls that's launching this month. It's from the Botanic Garden Company, but each bowl has like a different design. We've got butterflies and bees and wildflowers. And I just love the aesthetic of this. It reminds me of like the warm 70s look. These are so fun. These obviously sell together as a set, but super cool, super unique. What a fun set for the kitchen. Another favorite of mine this month that I have been so eager to share with you because I, I found this a while ago, but I was waiting until June to share it because of the roses. It's this Santa Barbara ceramic hand-painted wall clock. I mean, look at how fun this is. It's ceramic. It's signed up here by the artists, and this was made in 1989. We've got this beautiful rose down here, butterfly. It obviously works. And then on the back, it is powered by a AA battery, and then it's got the Santa Barbara signature down here with all the info. Again, 1989 on the back, but super cool, so beautiful. I think this matches my house's style really well, so there have been moments where I was thinking, you know, where can I put this? I showed this in a video a few months ago and I said I was going to list it and I have to stop keeping my favorites, so this one will be listed. I hope it goes to like the perfect new home because it deserves everything. I love this piece. Another fun rose themed item that I have is this pie tray or a quiche tray, tart tray. It's like a baking tray, but it has roses on the bottom. I think this is so delicate, so beautiful. It reminds me of like the 90s for some reason. It's microwave, dishwasher safe, and not only do I have one available if you are interested, but have a second one. So there are two available if you want two or just one, totally up to you. But I was very lucky to be able to find two to have in stock. That doesn't normally happen. Something really fun that is launching on Moonlit Vintage this month are doilies. 
Now hear me out, these are so cute. I definitely think they're back in style. I have a couple around my house that I use in various ways. Maybe not in like the traditional grandma style way, but these are fun. These are obviously handmade, but I have this really fun rectangular one. I think the design kind of reminds me of like a ton of suns, like entangled. This underneath a fresh loaf of bread, come on. Or if you wanna put this over a loaf of bread and then sprinkle the flour through it, you can make really fun designs using these, but they're so fun, so beautiful. So I've got this larger like rectangular one that will be available. And then I also have this circular one that will be available as well. This is perfect to put like underneath a plant or underneath like a nice wooden table just to keep it a little bit safe with books or baking. I just, I love them. This one also has a very similar design as well. And then I have two smaller, almost like pot holders. I think that's what you would call these. I have these two handmade pot holders, I guess, or coasters. Both of them have like a little hook so you can hang them. I think that'd be really cute. Got this pink one and then I have this yellow one this is what the front looks like and then this is what the back looks like the yellow one is definitely loved i think there was something oh there it is there is a small coloration on the yellow one it's really not that noticeable i never want you to feel like i'm trying to hide a quality of a certain piece or item from you so that's why i'm just pointing out that there is like a small color mark on the back but not on the front and obviously with like vintage and handmade items they will all be like a little bit loved i think it adds almost like a priceless story and quality to them so i'm totally fine with that i think it would be near impossible to find a vintage item that doesn't look a little like loved in some way have i showed these yet oh i don't think i've showed these i have this set of yellow bowls okay this lighting i'm so sorry i feel like it's not the best lighting right now but i have this set of yellow bowls these are selling together but i've got this larger yellow one and then this little small almost like a candy bowl catch-all dish they're yellow with flowers along the edges and these are from the special place collection of 2004 so these just made the cutoff for being vintage since for me at least vintage items have to be like at least 20 years old so these are just little baby vintage items that just joined the club those will sell together another really exciting item that i'm listing this month have you ever heard of a casserole basket because i just discovered that these used to be a thing where people would put their casserole casseroles in it and then bring it over to a dinner party. This is a casserole basket woven, handmade with different flowers all around the edges. Now though, I think this would be the perfect harvesting basket. If you have a garden, if you are harvesting this fall, imagine having this outside putting all of your heart, oh my God, I wish I had a garden for this, but that is the use that comes to mind when I see this basket and what I think it could be a really perfect use for. This is like the perfect size to fit magazines if you wanna stick it somewhere where you keep your magazines or even like a catch-all basket for like a coffee table. I think it's super, super cute. I'm trying to show you like all of the sides because obviously this is like a really, really old handmade basket. So there will be some love. Like I said, I think it adds to just how cool it is that it found its way to you. I love it though. It's hard not to keep that. Another really fun piece that is hard to keep is this Mayfair Open Rose Pink Depression Glass Platter Plate. So it's got four dividing parts. It's got this beautiful floral design along the glass on the edges. I know it's really hard to show up on camera, but the center has flowers as well as like each side of the plate. This is from the 1930s, but excellent condition, no chips or cracks. And I love the, the dividing parts because yes, you can use this traditionally in the kitchen, but how perfect is this for jewelry? You know, you've got necklaces, bracelets, rings, earrings. If you're someone like me that has a lot of jewelry, this would fit all of them. I feel like when I use smaller trays, like even this bowl, it gets to be too much because I just, I own a lot of little jewelry pieces. So this is perfect if you have a large jewelry collection. And then I've got some really fun picture frames coming to Moonlit Vintage this month. To start off with, I've got these two smaller gold frames and I'm selling these together, but two slightly different sizes, just really great. I love filling my home with pictures like this and I love the gold frames, but I think it adds a very warm, cozy, loved feeling that helps make a house a home when you fill it with like pictures of places and people and things that you love. 
And then I also have a set of five by seven frames. So these are a bit larger. I believe I'm selling these together as a set. Just with shipping and stuff, it makes more sense. You get more for your money. Plus then you have two matching frames as well. And then the last frame that I have is super exciting. It's actually a hand painted piece by the artist Barbara Mock, but it's this floral like oval picture frame. And all of these are hand painted flowers, but there's a lot of like roses on there and then she signed it at the bottom this would be an excellent portrait piece to have gold frame excellent condition if i had to guess this is probably around the 80s but it's not dated unless it's you know i could probably do some research here i think i should open up these picture frames before selling it just in case there's like a stash of money behind here okay let's see let's see if there's anything on the back of this oh god Oh my God, there was something. I need to update the listing. I was right though, it is from the 80s. The Avon Beauty Collection, 1988. Pres President's Honor Society proudly acknowledges the in induction of Doris Smetana. She won an award, 1988 award. Well, that just breaks my heart to see this somehow in my hands. Did anybody else know that this was back here? Wow, it's embossed and printed. Okay, that's cool. The last item listing this month in June is this Wyona Newton rose painting. I think this is stunning. It's got such a high quality wooden gold frame. I wanna show you closer, but it's hard because you see the reflection of everything. I think this piece is beautiful. The frame itself is such high quality. It's signed at the bottom. This is what the back looks like, so excellent condition, but this is a really beautiful piece as well. Each month I try to include like at least one set of candlesticks, at least one glassware set, at least one picture frame. So I try to make sure I cover like new plates, new bowls, new can, like at least one or two of each. So there's a little bit of everything with each launch, but those are all of the items laun launching this month at Moonlit Vintage. I'm also launching a couple of clothing items. So let's head on up to the office and I'll show you what clothing items are launching because they're all so cute and perfect for the summer. Welcome to the office. This is where I keep a lot of my inventory as well as the clothing items from Moonlit Vintage. So up here on my clothing rack, I have everything right now. However, these pieces are the June pieces. So I have five clothing pieces coming to Moonlit Vintage this month. If you watch my recent like vintage thrift haul that I posted, you'll notice some of these clothing items, but these are all of the ones that just felt like June to me and summer. I have this vintage Stephanie Queller skirt look at this is this not the most adorable little vintage how cute is this i still need to take pictures and like measurements for the listing because none of that has been updated yet but this will be available i also have this really nice white little slip lace satin tank top very very delicate but great quality Dina. This is like a true vintage lace slip tank for being true vintage and for being a white tank top. Like this is excellent quality. It is adjustable though. There are adjustable straps. This next piece I'm in love with. I think it's so, so cute. It's this little pink lace nightgown. Like, are you kidding? Look at how cute she is. So this is like the cutest thing. I'm 5'2", and, and this goes to about my shins. This is a size medium in the brand Monique, but she's so delicate, so cute. Perfect for all of the cottage core, grandma core girlies out there. I have two summer dresses as well, and I am so envious that these dresses don't fit me, but I guess it's a good thing, otherwise I'd be keeping them. I have this beautiful white, dress from requirements petite honestly i should try it on because it does fit me it goes to my ankles but i feel like this is meant for somebody a little bit taller than me dang it do not get me to try this on this is just like what happened with the sweater last month because if i try this on and i realize it's cute i'm gonna keep it i got a lister she's so cute perfect little 90s it reminds me of the parent traps wardrobe but we have these delicate embroidered flowers it ties on the back so fun, perfect summer dress. I think like, I picture somebody's mom like hanging linens on a clothing line in a backyard in this, or like walking through the garden or just like being outside near water. Oh, there's slits on the side as well. <sighs> if I try this on, it's game over and I keep wanting to try this on. 
I'm gonna list it. If this isn't listed, I'm in trouble. The last dress that I am listing, I did try to keep this one and it was just like a little bit too short for my comfort, but beautiful, beautiful vintage dress. It goes right above the knees, but you know, if you got a booty, it's gonna be a little bit shorter and that's what happened to me. This is so cute though. I really love this and whoever had this took great care of it because they still included a little extra button in case it's needed. But I love this one. It makes me feel like we're going on a picnic. I wanna wear this so badly and I can wear it. Like it does fit me. It's just like a little bit too short for me. I feel like I just have too many curves. Either way, those are all of the items and clothing items coming to Moonlit Vintage in June. I hope you saw something that you fell in love with. Definitely check out the shop to see what's currently available as well as the Instagram. That's where I post more like live time. So if you see something that you really want, you can get it quick before it sells. There have been a few items last month that went really fast. I also want to start incorporating more literary items on my Etsy shop. So I'm thinking of doing some sort of blind dates with a book. I think those could be fun. I don't know. I'm going to think on that, but I am getting the itch to branch out to book items. So that might be coming soon. But yeah, I hope you found some treasures. Happy treasure hunting. I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.